Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another set of videos in which we continue to talk about Business Central and how you can configure as a functional consultant. And also, sometimes we actually navigate in the system to see what functional functionalities are available for you to uh, navigate through from end user perspective, how you can do things. Uh, so in this video, we're going to actually talk about um, templates. And templates are something that are very useful uh, from a business value. It's actually to make sure that a customer, vendor, item, or employee data is created very quickly uh, and very accurately. So using the templates to standardize settings uh, with new records or when new records are created. So an example would be, uh, you know, using a template uh, to create uh, a default value for posting profiles and something that we'll see in this video. Uh, this would actually help uh, the purchasing team uh, when they're creating new items or uh, from the AP team when they're creating new vendors uh, when uh, they don't know anything about posting profiles and what GL accounts that they should select from that posting profile. So they would simply use this template and they'll know exactly uh, which template to use, how to create a vendor, and then automatically a lot of those fields would be auto-populated. So they don't need to worry about these posting profiles or some of the things that are beneficial to having in that vendor card or the item card. So as an example, uh, if you were to go into the vendors and simply select one of these vendors, these templates will allow you to pre-fill uh, some of the information that are available in the vendor card. So an example would be the payment method code. So we can have multiple payment method codes here. Uh, in this case, it's bank transfer, for instance, or a card payment. We can select that in the template and then this field would be auto populated in, in the vendor card and the similar concept is with the customers and the items and obviously the employees who are the resources so in order to create the template simply go on to the search uh, taskbar up there and click on actually not click but type configuration templates so click on the second one and these are the configuration templates that uh, were created in the system and uh, we will walk you way through how you can easily create this and how you can easily even use it in uh, in a real scenario from an end user perspective so let's click on the customer so when you actually create a template these are the fields uh, that will be auto populated so in here the idea is to actually have a field uh, auto populated as a default value it shouldn't be empty so there's no point of having a template and that wouldn't have a default value because you can always change it anywhere. But the general posting profile or posting group in, in this case is something that is useful. Uh, so same thing with the customer posting group. So having that default value as domestic would ensure that the customer that is created has the accurate uh, GL accounts or posting groups associated with them. So whenever you're creating transactions against them, the right GL accounts are being hit. Same thing with the application method and the payment method code, which is very uh, common to use. So the common fields are usually the payment method code and the posting groups. Similarly, if you go into the items, for instance, uh, items actually have quite more uh, fields that you can use. And this is where if you're in the manufacturing uh, as a side of business, then obviously you would need to use item templates a lot more often. And these uh, fields are very useful when you're creating new items. So base unit for media, for instance, is pieces, uh, the product posting groups, and the tax uh, group codes. So all of these fields are available. You simply need to give a default value to them. And you create these items using these templates, and uh, the default values will be auto-populated into the item card. So this is the one that we recently created. Uh, so if I go into the vendor, I simply actually I go back and I created this by clicking new, you know, this uh, field or this form was open, this table was open. I gave it a code and then I gave, I didn't give a description, but we sh I should have given a description, you know, to, to make sure that we know that these vendors are international, for instance. And then you select a table ID. So 23 is the table ID for vendors. The table name is auto-populated. And now we're going to start creating a new fields. So the first field I created was city. So put that as a default value is Toronto. So if you go again into this field, 
click on the field name, uh, simply look into the uh, dimension code, for instance, we can have a global dimension code here. Uh, and then we can assign a dimension to this vendor and see if we have default values that we can use. So maybe Europe North could be one of the dimensions. So oh, maybe we're getting an error on that one. So let's try changing it to a shortcut dimension, which is normally, or maybe we had vendor posting group would work for us. So vendor posting group, uh, this should would get updated uh, soon. Uh, having this as foreign, which is not used. So there we go. Now we have this field and it's saved automatically at the top. So you can continue to add more fields in here and we can continue to create this template as we desire. And then we can use this template uh, when we're creating vendors or customers or items. So hopefully this video actually helps you come up with some new templates that you can create, which will really be effective and efficient uh, when you're creating vendors and item cards or customer cards.